Hey y'all, APGT here. And today I'm going to show you a sort of boho style journal I put together using the uh, craft sticks. Y'all know I've kind of fallen in love with playing around with that uh, binding. Thanks, Rosemary. And uh, I'm doing an opening segment here. Oh, there'll be a closing segment too. Closing. Link, right hand corner, right hand corner, probably that way, probably. Uh, it should be opposite of me. Um, anyway, mostly because I need you to hear it. I'll play my tambourine, tambourine. So here we go. We're going to be putting our craft sticks together. Oh, I've already um, pre-stained these with an acrylic wash. That's where you have leftover sludge in the bottom of your little acrylic paint bottles. And you know, it's kind of getting icky. So just put some water in there. And then I also personally put a little bit of uh, fluid matte medium in there. <clears throat> Just because when you water it down, the uh, binder gets too, too loose to really stick. So anyway, it's wash, y'all. And I'm applying, this time for the uh, big craft sticks, I'm going to use... Um, beaded trim. Now someone who had a little forethought would have cut their trim to the approximate size ahead of time, secured the ends where the loose beads, uh, where the bead thread is now at because now you got a loose thread and beads can fall off. Guy. Mm -hmm. Before they attach it to their craft sticks because this is what's going to hold the craft sticks together y'all. So anyway, I get my trim glued on there, and uh, I fiddle fart around with needle and thread, securing the beads, mm -hmm. and I use fray check at some point. I don't know if that got filmed or not, because this was actually filmed sometime, some time ago, and by some time ago, I mean like a month or so, or five, I don't know, probably not five months, but you know, it's been a couple of months, and um so I piddle around with needle and thread uh, securing the beads and I use fray check at some point like I said I don't know if I filmed it or not and uh, probably could have cut way more of this out but y'all know that's the story of my life <laughs> but I do like the sound it makes y'all So we're going to do this for a while. I think the video's uh, around 30 minutes, uh, more or less, give or take. Um, I really like the craft stick uh, idea in playing around and exploring that whole that whole thing, y'all. Because even now sitting here, uh, I'm still thinking of other ways. <laughs> It could be played with just saying, because thanks, Rosemary. He opened a can of worms. Uh, goodness gracious. So let's hope the voiceover uh, keeps up with the video, or the video keeps up with the voiceover, whichever the case may be. We will eventually progress past the trim. Eventually. Art glitter glue, y'all. Guess I don't show the fray check. Just gonna stick that around there. Oh, look at that. So now we're gonna stamp uh, an image onto um, napkin. That is the white part of a napkin when you pull it loose. Anyway, that's what that is, and I'm stamping on that. And I have a foam uh, pad underneath to make the stamping just a little bit more butter. And we're gonna use a uh, a water brush. You know, I said one of those two brushes that has water in it 
distilled water, y'all. Distilled water, just saying. And we're going to water cut out portions of the images so that we can reassemble them in the way we want to reassemble them on the front of the cover, which you saw on the intro. Okay, you saw that, right? Okay. So we're just doing that. Doing that. A little more. A little bit more. Okay, that's probably that's probably good. And we're just going to line it out and stick it around over here and think we got it the way we want it and stick it down, but it won't be in the exact place because things just don't quite work like that for me. Fluid matte medium any day. There it is. I believe this is the golden brand. If you want to know a brand, hopefully I uh, had enough sense to write down in my uh, ingredients book the ingredients and the stuff that I used for this particular project. And uh, regardless, there will be some kind of information in the description box below the video. Click on the phrase, show more to see more information. <laughs> That's typically where most people put video, people, makers, creators put their information. Just saying. Sometimes they have other interesting things down there. Could happen. Not maybe this video, but others. You just never know. So, I don't think I show any at any time heat gun, so we'll just get that out of the way. Heat gun, y'all. And uh, the trim is not quite glued all the way to the edge, so I just, just added more uh, original tacky glue, smooshing it all down. My cover makes me so stinking happy. In case you didn't know. Ta da! Ta da! See, it's all nice and dry. And I thought, well, let's add a dragonfly. So uh, the dragonfly is die cut in it on uh, black cardstock and white cardstock already glued together and now we're going to glue it on uh, the journal cover using uh, my favorite glue and a paintbrush and we're just going to smoosh the glue all around now because sometimes when you use glue as opposed to a fluid matte medium the sheen uh, changes so to compensate for that I go over the entire thing with matte medium again once it's all nice and dry this way it goes nice and dry y'all pretty pretty so for the inside now that that's all nice and dry I've measured out some ribbon and I'm going to mark the center of the ribbon, sort of, and it will get stuck onto uh, the inside of the cover. But first, I'm going to faux measure, because, you know, faux measures. And we will use a piece of um, scrapbook paper. Wished I'd have used double sided, but so it goes. I'm cutting it down to the size I think will fit um, best, because, you know, sometimes. Uh, it's like on a fence, a wooden fence. You can see between the cracks just a little bit. Not much. It's a little bit. And I really didn't want that. So I thought I was being clever and gluing this paper on the inside. I'm gonna, Well, I'm going to use matte medium. But if I'd have used a double-sided paper, I wouldn't have had to deal with staining the inside white part that I don't think I got filmed anyway. <laughs> This video has been something. This is like my 15th time to try a voiceover, y'all. Oh, the sync issues I have with audio and video sync. Sync. Syncing. So, front and back. This is the inside. Okay. You don't have to do this if you choose to do one of these like this. Because I just. I'm not through playing with this. I don't know if I'll video any more of them. The troubles I've had with this one. So, or the voiceover part. Okay. So now it's all dry and we're going to glue down our ribbon because that's going to be our closure for the journal. And we're just going to eyeball a straight-ish line. 
and uh, it was once I started putting my uh, Manila file folder inserts on there, I thought I need to stain that white. I don't like it. So because that is the feature of this video is the Manila file folder inserts. The first one I didn't film because I thought we well, all know how to do them, and then something says no, you need to film it. So I piddle around, piddle around with file folders. These are Manila file folders. Now on each one, because I've got two, one's on the back inside cover and one's on the front inside cover. I made a notepad holder using uh, eyelets and I just kind of centered, um, measured there and we're going to poke some eyelets. We're using Dollar Tree elastic uh, cording. You know it's not the best elastic cord in the world but it works okay for this purpose. And we're just going to thread it through there and tie it on the back. Uh, sort of like you would tie a, um, a balloon, a blowed up balloon, and then we're going to tape it down so that it, that knot and stuff stays out of the way really well. That's the purpose. Okay, and We do a lot of flipping and flopping and flopping and flooping, and um, I have to think, you know, and I'm talking to myself, I don't know what I said because like I said it's been a while. And here's the second file folder because I decided I wanted to, you know, one on each, one on the front inside, one on the back inside. So we're going to make a second one and I'm trimming it off because the size, I'm making it the, more or less the same size as the first insert. And I'm saying inserts because you can make these and insert them in other journals. You can do it door, you know, the dory style where you have the elastic and you just run it under the elastic. Or you can glue them in or you can just shove them in there, right? Right? Paper clip them in even. Uh, but in this case, I'm actually going to glue them in. So I'm not giving you any measurements because any measurements would be dependent on the journal you're putting them in. All right, you make your manila file folder insert to fit whatever journal you're using. You may not even fold it up as many times as I did. You may just fold it in half. I don't know what size journal you got. But I do recommend when you make the cuts in there to, to sliver them out at a slight wedge because it eases the folding and opening closing. Opening and closing in and scoring uh, so that you could fold it up to size and I have pockets and little side flop tuck spots and um, maybe you'll be able to see me do a wedgie kind of thing. Sort of. There we go. We trimmed off just a little bit. And I do a whole lot of flippy floppy with the file folder and cutting and I know it's at a fast speed and if you want you could probably try to slow it down so you can get better viewage. I will sound funnier. More funnier than normal. If you want to hurry hurry up you can speed it up even more and I'll sound even more. Only I'll be a high pitch and sound like a little little bit of kid. I don't think I ever sounded like that. I've always had a voice that carried. Oh that song voices carry. So any hoots, um, at one point I make a little folded gusset to add behind one of the flop it pockets and I add thumb notches and make little tags and oh this is part one and there will be a part two where we decorate the two inserts. Hopefully I got that all filmed because I haven't edited that part yet. I'm frankly kind of scared because maybe there won't be a part two. <laughs> I don't know. If not, I'll just rename this one to part, to, to no part. It'll just be Boho Journal. Flippy floppy manila folder insert things. Something, something like that. <laughs> so we're just cutting and moving along and um, I had no plan. The plan was to make one similar to the first one I'd made. So I gotta stop and think and do this and do that. And I don't know. And Molly's trying to crawl around up here. Oh my goodness gracious. Molly Joe. So there are tags and I end up at some point um, between making the journal and the uh, 
the inserts, I decided I wanted to put some pretty snarky scenes. So one day when I was feeling up to par, <laughs> not to par, I don't know, I typed up a bunch of um, weird, <laughs> weird things. And some of them I use and some of them I have it and some of them I'll save for another time. <laughs> Uh, well, hopefully we'll, um, if the second part comes out edited, okay, I will read uh, some of those such things in that part. I know you have to come back and watch part two, which will be up tomorrow, by the way, because the last time I posted a part one and a part two on the same day, people didn't know which video to watch, so part one's today and part two's tomorrow, and if you're watching in the future, they're both up. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully I re remember to add a link in the upper right hand corner to part two once part two goes live and vice versa on, on that one rounding some corners y'all and sometimes I ink edges and sometimes I don't and we need to cut some more of that off oh my gosh oh people flippy floppy flippy floppy now we're going to make the uh, a little notepad that goes on that elastic string because I have one on each insert on the back part of each insert or the bottom part, I don't know. So uh, just trimming it down to size, scoring it, smashing down with the bone folder, not a real bone, and then we will just slide it right over our elastic cord and that is the dory style where you slide your paper, your inserts, whatever over under a piece of elastic like that or a ribbon you could use a ribbon or a string or whatever look at that it's just flippy floppy flippy floppy flop 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 and we're going to glue some of the pockets shut and some of them have tags some of them don't have tags it's not finished it you know journals are works in progress okay so yeah and then sometimes i really have to stop and think about stuff I'm just saying, just saying, just saying. Oh, I hope this voiceover works over this time because I may just not even, I may just stop and delete the whole thing. Uh, I hope not. It seems like a lot of work just to do that, to toss it. Which is why we remake some of our journal pages. I think this is where I make a little fold so I can uh, make the pocket deeper because you know pockets when you glue them flat down you can't really put much in there but if you put a little gas it's like yeah there's lots of room in that one now oh goodness gracious I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me are you still there <laughs> I hope so don't worry about the thumb I don't even know what's wrong with it because it's, it's fine now don't even remember. So the story goes. Didn't matter. All right. Got around that because I rounded some of them edges. I think I went and I think all the edges. Well, maybe probably not. I better not say all the edges because I don't think all the edges got rounded. There will be just a second of a um, outro, followed by a photo montage. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. And I have questions on how I make my voice so quivery for the photo montage part. Now I'm about to give that secret away. So hang in there, people. Finishing touches. But y'all, stay tuned for the photo montage. I appreciate each and every one of you, your kind comments, your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Please subscribe if you've not already done so. Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.